My name is Ian Malamud and I would like to welcome you to the Data Forensics Investigations Laboratory. Data Forensics deals with three areas, crime scene management, evidence retrieval and the laws relating to electronic evidence. Within crime scene management there are two main issues that need to be taken into account the possible sources of evidence that may be encountered, as well as the preservation of the evidence. Investigator skills need to extend from standalone devices to networks. Personal digital assistants, commonly known as PDAs, include handheld computers and smartphones. Data on these devices can be destroyed simply by letting the battery run out. It is imperative that the volatile data is written to hard media as soon as possible. In addition to PDAs and mobile phones, other devices that contain volatile data include iPods, MP3 and MP4 players, digital cameras, sat-nav systems such as Garmin and TomTom, printers, photocopiers, motor vehicle onboard computers, digital recorders, in fact, in any device containing a silicon chip with memory capacity. Yes, even washing machines and refrigerators. Chain of custody requirements must be met. Adhering to defined procedures for the collection and storage of devices is vital to a successful investigation. Labeling and photographing each item is a basic requirement. Avoid placing additional fingerprints on device surfaces by wearing gloves. Prevent fingerprint smudge by the careful handling of all devices. Investigations may involve not only what is on a device, but who handled it. Arriving at a crime scene with limited knowledge of what will be found is not unusual. The experienced investigator has the skill to handle the unexpected. Only authorized devices may be removed from a crime scene. Where permission is obtained from the equipment owner, ensure this is in writing. A detailed receipt is given for all devices removed from a crime scene. The receipt serves as the best evidence of what was removed from the crime scene. The receipt is matched with search and seizure or owner's permission to confirm that only authorized items were removed. Evidence retrieval is the core of the data forensic operation. It should always be possible to independently repeat the evidence retrieval process to arrive at the same result. Documentation is required of the complete process. Literally from the crime scene to the time that all evidence retrieved is handed over. Tampering with evidence is a real concern and avoiding any possibility of evidence contamination is vital. Biometric access control to the Data Forensic Investigation Laboratory and Evidence Room, together with CCTV surveillance, confirms that only authorized personnel have gained entry. The CCTV cameras are positioned to cover the movement of all devices. All individual devices are tagged and their movement logged to confirm that the chain of custody has not been broken. The basic evidence retrieval process consists of logging the device into the Data Forensic Investigation Laboratory, bit copying the data contained on the original device to backup media, log original device into evidence room for safekeeping, using the best available tool to retrieve the required evidence, copy the retrieved evidence to a movable media, for example DVD or memory stick, write report, Place report and all copies of evidence in evidence room after logging all information. Whilst the process is simple, its implementation has to take into account the multitude of different devices requiring a range of connection cables. The knowledge of which retrieval tool would best suit the extraction of required evidence is built up over time. The skilled report writer has the ability to write a technically accurate report that can be easily understood by the non-specialist. Searching for the truth is the objective of all investigations. The regular release of new gadgets and storage devices challenges the most experienced investigator. Keeping up to date with the latest release of viruses, trojans and worms is a must for all data forensic investigators.
malicious computer programs can change data automatically and influence evidence findings. In the world of electronic data investigations, searching for the truth is a monumental task requiring absolute dedication to processes and procedures, as well as an in-depth understanding of the factors that can influence the integrity of data. Existing laws in South Africa, such as the ECT, or Electronic Communications and Transactions Act, make possible the prosecution of offences based upon electronic evidence. Evidence obtained from email, SMS, fax, MMS, or any type of digital storage device can be used in both criminal and civil cases. South Africa is party to a number of international treaties dealing with borderless cyber crimes. In addition to the ECT Act, a number of laws impact on data forensics, such as the Constitution, Criminal Procedures Act, Electronic Communications Act, Promotion of Access to Information Act, Common Law, Regulation of Interception of Communications Related Information Act, Criminal Law, Privacy of Information Act, Copyright Act, Privacy on Data Protection Bill, and the Film and Publications Act. Data Forensic Investigations Laboratory is associated with Nico Bayer's attorneys. Clients have the option of benefiting from client attorney privilege during the data forensic investigation. Our data forensics investigations laboratory combines experience in crime scene management, expertise in evidence retrieval, and up-to-date knowledge of the laws of electronic evidence. Thank you very much for watching and you are welcome to contact us for any further information. Thank you.